what is that? It's a duffel bag with full of stuff. You want to show me what's inside? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. There's so many things back here. Yeah, wow, that's awesome. Can I have your belly open for the manifold? Shot. And this is the mouth. I look inside. And this is the Wait, what was this? Relaxes. What's it called? Relaxes. Dr. Beaver. This is a book to get the teeth out. And this is a stethoscope. What? Stethoscope. I have one of those. That's awesome. What do you do with that? You listen to what? Slam through the belly and your heart goes fast. Good job. Right on, girl. Hello, you guys. My name is Sierra. I'm currently not a nursing student anymore. I have officially graduated <laughs> from nursing school. <laughs> and I am bringing you guys along for a week in my life as not a nursing student, but also not a registered nurse yet because I still haven't taken the NCLEX. I have it scheduled for a day in August, and it is June 30th today? Is it June 30th? <laughs> we have a month to study and get everything together, pass the NCLEX, and then I will be a registered nurse. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for that, show you everything, what I'm doing to study, also how I'm trying to enjoy summer and life, and my sweet baby Magnolia. Yeah. And then we have a sweet baby Marigold that's yeah. gonna be born soon, right? <laughs> no. My sister is pregnant and she's due in July. Today I am watching Magnolia for a little bit while my sister's at an appointment. I brought Camper over here. He's stealing all of his brother's toys. Actually, I think that's, Camper, come here. Let me see what that is. That's this might have been, oh, this toy is so so old. <laughs> I got him like an advent calendar, like a dog treat and toy advent calendar from Costco Aww, for Christmas. Yay. I think that was in there. So yeah, watching Magnolia, gonna do some school work here. I have 21 more days on my UWorld account that I really need to take advantage of. And then kind of just see where the day takes us. I wanna spend some time outside, whether that be tennis, going on a walk. We'll just see what happens. I forgot that I received a very exciting package. I'm gonna open it with you guys. Dun, dun, dun. I got a gift card to Figs from Jamie, so that was super sweet. And they had a sell recently. I think it was like 30% off. I decided to use the gift card then. Their stickers are always super cute. It says, if you need a design, this is it. You're awesome. And then, here they are. What do you think of this color, Magnolia? Um, cool. Is it called raspberry sorbet? I think that's what it is, raspberry sorbet. So these are just their high-waisted joggers. And then a matching Ooh, this looks kind of big. I got a small last time in the top for a photo shoot that I did with my friends for graduation. And we were all talking about how the small was a little too tight. So I ordered a medium, but I don't know. It looks a little big, but I'd rather have something be too big than too small. Especially when you're in the hospital, like running around. So this is the top. It's just the one pocket top. I think this color is super cute. And I'm starting my job in summer, in August, so I feel like this is a cute summer color, so I am excited for this, although figs are kind of pricey, to be honest with you. So if you guys have any other scrub brands that you recommend or you love, please let me know in the comment box down below. I do have a couple pairs of figs and they are very comfortable and I do like the high-waisted, so that's that. <laughs> Many, many faces. Can oh. I have a little brown one, please? Yeah. Oh, you guys can have. Oh, oh, you can take one of this one. Oh, this one. Take one down. There. Thank you. Right there. Perfect. <laughs> mm. 
Can I have a pink one? Yeah. Oh, you didn't say please. Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a pink one, please? <laughs> Be careful. Thanks. Oh, this is a big one with a heart for mom. Oh, yes. Guess put right here. Why for his daddy? Guys, why is for daddy? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. is mostly detected in the third trimester. It's around 4.30 in the afternoon, evening. I feel like that's like late afternoon. I've been doing UWorld all day and then also listening to some podcasts regarding nursing school, obviously. I took a break around what time noonish one-ish and went on a walk for about an hour because sometimes when i'm studying for an extended period of time i need to step away and like do something else and then i can come back to it and be like refreshed rejuvenized and be able to focus and actually learn the information that i'm reading and doing questions on so that's what happened today nothing too exciting even when i do get an answer on you world correct Sometimes it's by chance or like a good guessing or because I'm familiar with it a little bit But I don't know it a whole lot I'm still writing down the rationales because right now I'm doing the maternal and newborn section and it's kicking my ass It's just yeah, it's it's I don't know I just don't know anything because I'm not a mom. I've never had a baby. I've had one rotation and family birth so almost done with it I actually finished all the questions I just need to finish going through and writing my notes I also have my little blue light glasses here that I've been wearing all day when I'm on my computer. I'm going to run to the store in a little bit, grab some groceries. I think we're going to have spaghetti for dinner and salad and just have a chill, relaxing evening still doing questions. I probably will continue for a couple of more hours. Good morning you guys from my bed. No, I have not been here all morning. I promise It's around 10. I woke about 6 and I was editing a video that I got up on YouTube for you guys And then I was doing a couple questions on you world probably about 30 But I haven't written down the rationales for those yet And then I have questions from yesterday that I need to finish writing down the rationales for too So I need to play catch up on that. We'll do that together. I don't have my car right now. So this is going to be a semi-boring day, just hopefully productive studying. I'll be studying from home. I was thinking that sometime soon this week I want to have like a little Starbucks date, go study there because it's really nice to switch things up and be in a different environment. Kind of allows me to like focus better and then also make studying more fun, if that makes sense. But typically I'm not a big fan of studying in bed and that's what we're gonna do today because I just wanna be cozy and comfortable. It's super gloomy outside right now, even though it's 4th of July weekend, which is really weird where I live. I don't recall the last time the weather was shitty like this, so. Another thing that I was thinking that I really wanna start implementing for the entire month is waking up at six or seven because I really feel like that's the best time for me to study. I feel like everybody has a different window, 
but in the morning into like the early afternoon i'm really able to focus on studying the house is like semi-quiet and it's just like the best time for me once it hits four or five o'clock i have a really hard time focusing i'm able to like listen to videos or podcasts but sitting down and answering questions and like taking notes it just doesn't really happen that often after i talked to you guys yesterday we ran to the store um made spaghetti and called it a night pretty early i think i want to walk to the store today and grab a cake mix to make my boyfriend a cute little cake to celebrate something so yeah that's really what's on the agenda today is being productive cleaning up the house doing studying before we start studying together i want to quickly talk with you guys about something i received in the mail that's super super exciting which is also why i'm able to study on my bed because if i didn't have this I probably need to go sit at a table or a desk or a counter or something like that. Okay, so I want to briefly talk about this product that I received from a company called Emerging Green. This is their eco-friendly lap desk made from bamboo, which I absolutely love and adore. I think I showed it to you guys earlier in this vlog because it's the only reason I'm able to study from bed, honestly. So it has these little stands that you pull out. I'm going to flip it back over. And voila, it's perfect. It's a great size. I've used it for breakfast too and dinner, not gonna lie on the couch. Let me show you guys why I like it so much. So for example, this is my computer on it and I still have plenty of space to put a drink, my papers, my pens to take my notes for UWorld. Sometimes I do put my computer off to the side and then I just use this as like my whole desk space where I'm writing everything at, but it's a great size. The surface is super soft um, and also just like pretty and aesthetically pleasing. And I would have to say the best part about this company is that 70% of their products come from sustainable or recycled sources. They utilize renewable and recycled raw materials that can make a positive change to the future generations. They have a ton of different items on their website, varying from items for your animals, for your garden this summer, for various hobbies and crafts that you have. So please check them out. They also have an amazing FAQ that would answer any questions you have about them and their sustainability. I love supporting newer and smaller businesses. I believe they started in 2020 um, just because I have a small business myself. I really believe in their story and the foundation of how they are growing their business. So if you guys are interested, you can check them out. I'll have all their socials linked in my description box down below, like their Instagram, their website, their Amazon store. Guys, look at her paws there, it's so cool. She has little hands. <laughs> Hold on, let me try to show you. Let me see your hand. Hey, you see this? It's like a little thumb. Chris. <laughs> she wants to play. She thinks she's one of the dogs. You can kind of see it now, right? Look, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Goodness. 
Ta-da! Honestly, this cake is kind of reminding me of the chocolate cake from Matilda. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey guys, so it is a little bit later. I'm making some ramen for like a pre-dinner snack because sure we're not gonna have dinner for another couple of hours. A little update. Oh, also, look at this cute little cow bowl. I got this from my mom, super cute. I've been doing some studying, cleaned up the house, and then listened to two Mark Klemek podcasts, um, or sorry, like lecture videos. I'm used to saying podcast because it used to be on Spotify as a podcast. Listen to two of them, and then I'm kind of just listening to them as I'm doing other things. And then in a couple of weeks, I have all of the notes to his lectures that I'm gonna sit down and like highlight and make my own little notes. But I'm doing it as a way to really get the information in so that when I do sit down and listen to them, I only have to do it once. And then I've been doing some questions on New World. I have about 30 left. I've already done 70. Just played a quick game of tennis with my boyfriend. He just left again. I'm trying to think, oh, I did something kind of fun. I guess I've done this twice. But I did a little Instagram poll on a question on you world and I want to share it with you guys if you don't have me on Instagram hold on my ramen's gonna overcook and that's not good I'll just read you guys the question because it's really interesting something that I really like about you world is it tells you the percentage of people that picked an answer so sometimes when you miss something you can see that like 50% of people missed it with you so you feel a little bit better about yourself but then sometimes when you do miss questions that are like super obvious and like 90% of people got it right. You do kind of feel bad about yourself. This is a question that I had no idea about. In my school, in my program, we did have a nurse come and do a whole burn presentation. He was like a burn nurse. And he was so awesome. Really great teacher. I think he had been a burn nurse for 20 years. It was just so much information packed into such a short period of time. Which is why I think I missed this question. And it just goes to show you how important words are like every single word even letters like sometimes questions can have an s at the end of something and it completely changes the answer the question was the rn is providing ah, sorry i went away the rn is providing discharge teaching for a client who suffered full thickness burns which statement by the client demonstrates a need for further instruction on the rehabilitation phase of a burn injury okay i'm gonna give you all the answers or sorry, I'm going to give you all of the options and then I'll tell you the answer. And then I'll kind of show you the parts that stick out to me that kind of answer the question within the question. Number A, I should avoid using lotions to prevent infection. Number B, I should perform range of motion exercises daily. Number C, I will avoid direct sun exposure for three months. And number D, I will wear pressure garments to minimize scars. So the question says, which statement by the client demonstrates a need for further instruction? So something that I learned in like the HESI live that we had in my school is to realize that the question is a positive or a negative. So this is a negative question because it's saying what needs further instruction so it's the wrong answer so i'm looking through and i just feel like i will wear pressure garments to minimize scars sounds wrong like if you have burns you would want to wear loose fitting clothing i know like people with burns get very cold and you want to keep them warm but i can't imagine you would want to wear like tight clothing so that's what i picked and i was wrong obviously which is why i'm sharing this with you um, the answer is, I should avoid using lotions to prevent infection, because that's wrong. You should use lotions, and that's because in the question, it said, need for further instruction on the rehabilitation phase of a burn injury. So, the answer really to that was, daily application of water-based lotion is necessary, oops, to minimize scar formation and alleviate itching. Infection is not likely as the rehabilitation phase begins after the wounds are fully healed. So I think it's like almost 12 months after you get the wound or obviously whenever it's fully healed. So that makes sense. Obviously you're not putting lotion on a burn immediately, but it's the rehabilitation phase. So it's just so easy to overlook words and questions. Also, when you know there's like a timer and you have a limited amount of time or the question is like this whole long paragraph and then it wants you to look at this exhibit with all this other data and information. But at the end of the day, 
we have plenty of time to answer them and so we need to take our time sorry my camera died which rudely interrupted what i was saying if you need to reread a question five times ten times don't feel discouraged by that and don't feel like that that's not okay i heard recently that in the unclucks you have an option to get noise canceling headphones which is something that i'm totally going to utilize because whenever i would take exams and i would hear and see people getting up i'm like looking at the clock the exam's 100 questions somebody finishes it in 20 minutes I'm just thinking in my head like how the hell did you even read all the questions available and all the answers i literally am dumbfounded the noise canceling headphones i feel like those will be super nice just to be able to block everybody out and kind of focus on yourself and on the exam and not feel rushed i think you can turn i don't know if you can turn the timer off i know you can turn the number of questions off so you don't see that i'm just trying to fill you guys in on things that i'm learning along the way but i thought that was a good question and just a good little lesson i'm gonna finish eating my ramen and then probably post up on the couch put on nashville which is a show i've really been liking kind of to have on the background because i'm listening and watching while i'm doing some more studying i have some candles lit i'll show you guys we have a nice little ambiance in here don't we he's just sitting right in front of the fan i love you I don't mean to scare you, but the man who tried to kill me, he may not have acted alone. Oh my god. Hello guys, long time no see. It's been a couple days because it was 4th of July weekend, although I really did not do anything interesting. Um, the 4th of July was on a Monday, so it was like an extended weekend, and it was actually raining here intermittently. I was gonna go to a fireworks show with my friend, but we kinda just decided not to, and thank God, because it started raining really hardcore, which has never happened before. It was super weird. It did not feel like the 4th. But the day before, I got together with my family, and we did a little fireworks show for all the little kids and had some good food so that was super fun it's funny because I saw a post on Instagram recently talking about the 4th of July and like when you're 17 or 18 how you're like out till 2 or 3 in the morning with your friends like up to no good and then when you get older it's like 9 o'clock at night and you're like when are they going to stop with the fireworks like you're ready to go to bed it's just funny how things change anyways I just ran some errands went to Costco Joanne Fabrics TJ Maxx um, I'm gonna run into the grocery store here too I also went to the post office because I had to ship off I think it was like 23 orders for my Etsy shop so thank you guys very much for all of your orders and supporting me super fun really appreciate it especially right now because I'm not working I'm in this weird like little lull where I'm studying for the unclex and I don't start work until next month so it's really appreciated and also I love having a little small business I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I snagged and then I'm gonna head into the grocery store and get some stuff to make some pasta for tonight but first thing okay where is it at Costco has great dog toys. If your dog is a chewer and like destroys everything, I can't get him cheap toys. It just doesn't work. It gets a waste of money. It'll be broken within like an hour. But I got him a set of these probably several months ago and he still has them they can be thrown away now that i got some more but they're still in like pretty decent shape um i think it's like 14 dollars, 14 or 15 dollars for these which is a good deal and um he really likes them i think they're like flavored oh it says dental chicken flavor bison flavor and bully stick flavor bully bull 
Okay, I don't know. A while ago, I had posted on my Instagram, well, it wasn't really a while ago, it was like a couple weeks ago, um, asking you guys if you brush your dog's teeth. And I got a lot of great responses from people and specifically from somebody that I know that is a vet tech. She was just talking about how you should be brushing your dog's teeth every day. It's really good if your dog does chew on toys though, because that can help prevent cavities and keep their teeth clean, so. Camper is a chewer. He doesn't chew on like household items. He loves his toys, he's a little baby. So I got him those at Costco. Just got some dog food, dog treats, got some wine. What else? Some vitamins, nothing too interesting. Then I went to TJ Maxx to specifically get this. They sometimes have it, they sometimes don't. It's like kind of a hit or miss gamble and they did. And I got this cute one because there's the pink grapefruit scent in here and then the regular one which is what I always use they're kind of like little sample sizes I think they're two ounces each but it's the first aid beauty ultra repair cream which is the only moisturizer that has like worked on my face over the summer and not giving me dry skin because I get really dry skin <laughs> did I say summer no winter <laughs> okay back up I get really dry skin in the winter I guess in the summer too if I'm sunburned and this is literally the best brand ever I normally will find this at Ulta but Ulta is like 40 minutes away from me so I can find it at TJ Maxx sometimes I highly recommend this if you're looking for a good moisturizer I think all their products are really great but I love them I'm so happy I found that law of attraction and then I just got some tweezers and then I went into Joanne's Fabrics and got some fabrics for some more badge reels. Actually, two of these. These are these super cute little pink daisies. I already have these up in my shop. And then I already have this one up in my shop. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I make sort of like a little rainbow thing. These are already for sale. I just needed more fabric because these both have just been so very, very popular. And then I grabbed a new one I thought would be super cute. It's this like kind of like little green leaf plant. I don't know. I like it. It's cute. I think it'd be cute with like wooden sage beads. Kind of like a little boho-ish sort of thing. So I'll get this up on my shop soon. But the other two designs are already up there and they've been popular. So I needed to get more fabric. And that's my little haul. I was studying a lot this morning. I did 75 questions on New World. And then I listened to an hour of Mark Klemek. And I needed to take a break. And so that's exactly what I did. I just ran some errands. I'm gonna run into the grocery store and then I'll head home, make some pasta, get back to studying. Hopefully take camper outside on a walk. And yeah, very eventful day, what can I say? Guys, I ended up giving him all three of those toys from Costco. <laughs> Don't forget to drink your water today. Hi guys, so Camper and I went on a nice walk and then he got really tired so I dropped him off and then I walked to the grocery store, grabbed some stuff to make a yummy snack and then I was doing a little bit of editing this morning. I did 25 year world questions and I listened to, I think it was lecture four of Mark Klemek. I want to show you guys what I got from the grocery store and what I'm making. That's super yummy. Just got some bananas and spinach for a smoothie later. But the good stuff is chicken and buffalo dip. So these are chips, clearly. I have never seen these in like California or Louisiana. They're in Oregon. I don't know if it's only an Oregon thing. These are like the best tortilla chips. Just saying Juanitas. Red buffalo wing hot sauce. We got some cheese, pepper jack and mild cheddar, cream cheese, and some chicken. Any guesses? Or did I just tell you? I don't remember. I'm making a buffalo chicken dip. I haven't made this in forever. My family knows how obsessed with it I used to be. Like I'm talking made it at minimal once a week. Although obviously you can tell this is not very... Uh, nutritious um, but it sure is tasty so I haven't had it in I want to say over a year I just woke up thinking about it super weird so I decided to go to the store and grab the supplies for it to make it I am just going to 
continue studying, having a relaxing day. And I think that I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as always. I hope you guys are doing amazing, enjoying your summer, having lots of fun, being kind to yourself and also taking time for yourself. And to anybody that's taking the NCLEX soon, <laughs> I'm right there with you. Also best of luck to anybody starting nursing school soon. You got this. It's going to be one of the best experiences of your life i know it can be super intimidating but it's it's amazing it really is so just wanted to say that to you guys again i hope you're doing amazing and i'll see you guys in my next video bye the tired voices by two <laughs>